Ewaji generally in Igbo land is uh, the same thing. The only difference is that uh, some people call it Alomo. Some other communities call it Ugejiopu. Some of uh, our brothers in the West call it uh, Utita. So, Ndigo. So these different names, uh, that is the same way it differs from one community to the other. And uh, like in Umwell, uh, formerly we used to call it Alomo, but you know when you say Alomo, the Christians, the Christian folk in Umwell will not uh, like to participate. And that is why some communities have started changing to Ewaj and the uh, Umwer uh, not leaving uh, uh, behind. We call it Ewaj so that it will uh, accommodate everybody. And the, uh, that of Umwer, the difference or the difference between Umwer own and that, that of other communities is that Umwer in Ewaj is being celebrated in a Christian way. We start it with uh, uh, fellowship, worship, praises, and after that, we now symbolically cut the yam into three parts, signifying uh, three quarters of whom we are raising the and the can. And uh, once that is done, the representative of these three quarters, after the Igwe has cut the yam, will come and uh, pick their own. That is to show that uh, Umwe have really uh, celebrated their own New Year festival in a Christian manner and in a Christian way. And after that, every other community will now go back to their various villages and begin to celebrate their own in their own way. Ewaji or something, you know, something of that nature, culturally, you know, take place, you know, you know or takes place, you know, in Umwer, like we, like, is there other institutions in Umwer, apart from the, your own institution, the leadership institution, that does any other thing? And that is what really makes uh, Umwer the cradle of uh, Igbo land, because in other communities, the Igwe appoints his Onowu and he directs his Onowu, controls his Onowu. But in Omwere, Onowu uh, is an institution of his own. We came into the world, we met it, our forefathers have been using Onowu. Uh, even when we, our first Okebo died, Onowu, Omwere was the one ruling the community until the emergence of uh, myself, the Okebo the second. And uh, we also have the Ajay. The Onowu will announce the date for the Ewaj. That is how it is done in Omwere. Then after the announcement, the Ajay, uh, who is always from Nei, the Nei is the head of whom we uh, three quarters. We, we know uh, the Ajay will celebrate his own. Immediately after the Ajay celebrates his own, then the Igwe will follow suit. That's how we came and met it. Ordinarily, in other communities, it is the Igwe who celebrates the New Year festival first before any other person. Because of the, because of the peculiar nature of whom we are, because of the, the peculiarity that they have, which is different from other communities, which is what I have just explained, that we met Onowu as an institution, met Ajay, and before the Igwe came. So these are the people, other, the two institutions that uh, govern the town or rule the town uh, with Igwe. Igwe represents the community in governmental affairs and uh, 
represents, is a symbol of the community, goes out to functions to represent the community. Thank you very much. So, assume the position of leadership, which Kumwe is the cradle of Igbo land. People, all other Igbo land, people in all other Igbo land, all other communities in Igbo land, so emulate Umwe should come and borrow their culture because our culture has its origin and that origin is uh, what we have kept on with till now. So this culture of Umwe is worthy of emulation. That is why I am so happy with the establishment of uh, Center for research. for research in Igbo, uh, Igbo, Igbo history and culture. So happy with them, and uh, we are giving we are going to give it all necessary support so that it will uh, grow and so that it will uh, escalate to other communities. Let other people come to Umwe and borrow their culture and see our rich cultural heritage, which is what we inherited from our forefathers. It's not by accident, we are not learning it. This is the origin of uh, Igbo culture. Thank you very much. It happens uh, in between, within two months, the month of September and the month of uh, August. Either it falls in August or it falls in September. Last year, we celebrated uh, August 29. This year it's uh, gonna be uh, September 5. Uh, the Ulu knows how he counts it, and once it's uh, counted and agreed on a date, he will come and inform the Igwe, inform the Ajay. Then the, all of us will put her together and agree on a date that I will celebrate my own, uh, and uh, the Ajay will celebrate his own. So this is how it is done. It varies from between September and August. Thank you very much, uh, Your Majesty. When we are talking, you said that there will be a symbolic, you know, cutting mm -hmm. of the the yam. Yes. And um, if the yam is cut, what happens? <laughs> uh, is it eaten or something? <laughs> Even a many jibba, why do you live in When a yam is caught and uh, it is distributed among the three quarters of Umwe, Ezi, Ikenga, and uh, Ibita. When I say symbolic cutting of yam, is uh, that particular one that Igwe cuts is the, the symbolism in it. Then after that, there are other yams which uh, will be placed in the table of these uh, potters. Then automatically, once it is caught, everybody will start eating yam. You either eat the roasted one, or the pounded yam, or any kind, or even uh, any, any kind of uh, any way you cook yam, even porridge, you can go. And that is uh, the period we use in thanking thanking God for a bumper harvest. And also pray God for gift of rain, uh, sunshine, and that allows our crops to germinate and grow. And uh, it's a period that will give God the glory. And uh, in Umweri, immediately after the AYG ceremony, the following Sunday, we go for a Thanksgiving in any of the churches. Last year we went to the Anglican Church. This year we are going to do Thanksgiving in a uh, Lady's Catholic Church, Umwe. Uh, sometimes we go to Pentecostal churches. All the churches in uh, Umwe we normally attend, uh, do our Thanksgiving there. For the Umwe people, I want to appeal to them to live in peace and harmony with one another. Love each other because it is only peace, love and unity that 
that can bring development in Umwe and uh, in other Igbo communities also crave their indulgence to obey their leaders, obey their traditional rulers, respect the rule of law. Uh, remember that the COVID-19 is still in place. Always uh, maintain social distancing, cover your mouth and your nose with face mask and ensure that you keep all the government protocols concerning the coronavirus because it is still real. Still ravaging the entire world, still in Anambra, and it's still in our various localities. So nobody should deceive you to tell you that there is nothing like a coronavirus. But I usually pray for my people, the Umwe the people, that this coronavirus shall never enter in Umwe and will never kill anybody in Umwe and in Anambra, Anambra in general. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, thank you, Your Majesty. I, I think we are at this juncture. We shall uh, take a break. Uh, what music do you like best? Sir, you know, to <laughs> enjoy dance to. Well, uh, Christian music is my favorite, but there is this Ibai uh, mm. That one also <laughs> is also my favorite, okay. especially that original one uh, released by uh, oh, Omo It's a good music. The Jelly Masquerade and the Dance is the one that took first position in the whole Africa. That was in Lagos in the uh, first act 1977. So that's why I'm in love with that music. And it gingers me when it's uh, being sung like this. If uh, you're around me and if you don't, if I don't, uh, if I become in a mood, I can even push down through. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful, Your Majesty.